Netflix has changed the promotional image for Cuties, an award-winning French film, after it was accused of sexualizing girls. We're deeply sorry for the inappropriate artwork that we used for Cuties, a spokeswoman for Netflix said. It was not okay, nor was it representative of this French film, which won an award at Sundance. We've now updated the picture and description. Netflix's original artwork, promoting cuties on the streaming service, featured a picture of four young girls posed provocatively, some twerking while wearing hot pants. Now, the promotional image shows the lead actress, Fadia Yusuf, looking over her shoulder. The compliance, posted in part by followers of the QAnon conspiracy theory, may have come as a surprise to some, given that Cuties, the debut featuring Maya Muma Dukuri, has been praised for questioning how society and social media pressure young children into acting in sexually explicit ways. Dukuri was named the best director in the world cinema category at this year's Sundance Film Festival, and received a special mention at this year's Berlin Alla Festival in Germany. The role began on Tuesday after Netflix published the trailer for Cuties Online. It quickly drew criticism, as the film's artwork. Parents who agreed to put their girls in this movie are pimps, read one comment. Some are still calling for the film, scheduled to land on Netflix on September 9th, to be deleted from the streaming service. One online petition, which had over 170,000 signatures on Friday, urged Netflix not to release it. This problem isn't the artwork, it's the fact it's about twerking 11-year-olds for adult viewing pleasure. Read an update to the petition, posted on Thursday. Take it down, we have the screenshots, it added. Calls to remove the film have gained particular traction among supporters of the QAnon conspiracy theory, who believe top Democrats and celebrities like the artist Marina Abramovich are behind the global child trafficking ring. Netflix just normalized pedophilia, one QAnon supporting Facebook page posted on Friday. The change to artwork is only the latest example of Netflix facing pressure to remove content from its streaming platform on moral grounds. In July, it canceled production of a series in Turkey after authorities refused it a permit because the show included a gay character. In 2018, Netflix complied with a request from the Saudi Arabian government and removed an episode of the show Patriot Act with Hansen Minha from the platform in that country because it included criticism of Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman. The film itself, released as Mignonez in France, has not caused any such row. Dukeri's debut feature follows the story of 11-year-old Amy Yusuf as she struggles to find her place in life. At home, Amy has to please her mother, a Muslim from Senegal, but she's drawn to a group of friends who have their own dance troupe. Dukeri said in June, during an interview at the Sundance Film Festival, that the idea for cuties partly came to her after she attended an event in Paris, where she watched a group of 11-year-olds performing a highly sexualized dance. I was just so shocked, she said. For me, it was just, oh my gosh, what am I seeing? Many of the children's parents, who were also watching the show, wore traditional religious dress, she added, and the culture shock fascinated her. While researching the film, Dukeri became concerned about how social media pressures children to dress provocatively, she said. In France, where the film was released in theaters August 19th, Cuties has not stirred any controversy. Clarice Faber, reviewing the film for Le Monde, said, The filmmaker skillfully refrains from passing judgment on the very explicit sexualization of the dance routines. She named it a must-see. Le Figaro, another newspaper, also labeled it a film to see. Reviewers at Sundance didn't see the film as fetishistic either. The sight of twerking preteen bodies is explicitly designed to shock mature audiences into contemplation of today's destruction of innocence. Brooke Fanula Holligan in Screen Daily, but she added that the film ultimately failed because it tried too hard to provoke censure. Dukeri hasn't commented on the fuss or the artwork, and her representative did not respond to an interview request on Friday. But she may appreciate some of the ongoing debate about the sexualization of children in society. We can't continue to close our eyes about that, she said in the interview at Sundance. Anyways, that should do it for today, guys. Let us know in the comments below what you think about cuties and the whole drama around it. If you're new, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss the latest updates about any drama that's happening in the world. Drama that's hap